All right, today we're gonna to be doing a database update, a nav database update on the EX5000 from Avidine. So I've got my USB on in here, super simple to do. We'll go ahead and turn on the uh, battery and avionics here. And uh, we're just gonna go and watch this power on up. Now, what I like to do is if I'm doing a longer database update, usually the charts update takes much longer. I'll go ahead and actually turn off my uh, navigators and also my transponder as well too, just to save a little bit on power and whatnot. So let's go and watch what happens here. Let's give it a second. I go and turn these off here in just a moment. Let's go and turn these off. I'll just go and hold the button down. All right, we have a full Avidine set up in this aircraft. So I'm turning off the IFD 440s. All right, and I've already got my uh, transponder turned off. Okay, so data loader, ready to begin system uh, update. Go and click proceed. All right, let's take a look. Again, this is the nav database update for the EX5000. Here we go. This going and, and this one goes pretty quick. The uh, charts database update takes significantly longer, so make sure you got enough battery power. Uh, we keep this aircraft always plugged into um, basically a battery tender and uh, keeps our battery charged and maintained and all that good stuff. So, always uh, good to go on that. But uh, don't try to do this stuff if you're low on battery power, you don't want this thing to shut off in the middle of it. All right, so it's verifying data right now. It says, Do not remove system power. And this USB, I got a little light here, so it lets me know when data's uh, transferring. And my goodness, look how quick that is. All right, let's see here. So you can already see down here, I did the charts update it, uh, earlier. So this is uh, our uh, valid range in there. And there we go, nav data. We're gonna go and confirm that, we see that. So there's our uh, database on in there. So that's all updated and that's all there is to it. It's uh, that fast and uh, easy to do. Now, one thing I wanted to add is uh, when you're doing your nav database update in here with the EX5000, uh, it will not ask you to eject the data loader like it does when you're updating your charts. So uh, what you want to do is after it's gone through the cycle, it's updated, it's powered back up on in there, or restarted, I should say, just make sure you do turn off your avionics in there and then remove your data loader. Don't remove your data loader after you've, uh, you know, without turning it off first. So anyways, hope that helps on out.